Hello, I am Dr. Vivek. Today I am going to talk about a condition which is faced by almost everyone. It means almost all the surgeons including physicians. So it's an important topic for anesthesia people also. So the topic is post-dural puncture headache or in short form it is called as PDPH. This post-dural puncture headache. So as the name suggests, it is post uh, puncture of dura mater, patient develops uh, headache. So when the causes, the causes are most frequently it is uh, uh, followed by dura puncture of uh, spinal anesthesia when we administer subarachnoid block, we pierce the dura mater and enter the subarachnoid space and inject the local anesthetic. So, most frequent cause for PDPH is post-surgery uh, after spinal or subarachnoid block. Then second frequent is accidental dural puncture during epidural procedures. So, third is when we are doing contrast studies like myelogram when we inject uh, contrast into the subarachnoid space for doing myelogram. These are the frequent causes for uh, postural puncture attack. So the next question will be, so do all patient who undergo this procedure develop uh, PDPH or these headache? No, the answer is no. So the patient or the person who is undergoing procedure, if the, it depends on the technique used, the needle used to pierce the uh, dura mater, and the experience of the uh, anesthetist or the procedure uh, doing person and uh, uh, patient related factors. So what are the patient related factors? It is most frequently seen in young female less than 40 years of age uh, with uh, who are undergoing LSCS or caesarean sections or uh, who are having history of migraine or any other headache history. Uh, in the past and people who are uh, more sensitive to pain. So these are the predisposing factor for uh, uh, PDPH. So what are the symptoms of PDPH? This as the name suggests it is post dural puncture. So there will be a history of post dural puncture. It is. First is there will be history of dura puncture for either spinal anesthesia or epidural anesthesia or uh, myelogram or during epidural procedures. So the patient will present with headache in the frontal region, occipital region, neck and behind the eyes. It is also called retroorbital pain. It might be followed by stiffness of the neck, difficulty in neck movements, vomiting and nausea or the sensation of vomiting. Oh, followed by uh, headache which is similar to hangover kind of headache and uh, few patient in extreme cases they may develop cranial nerve palsy like uh, obdusant nerve or hearing impairment during this uh, process and the disease usually begins means this headache begins within 24 to 48 hours after the uh, said procedure so next uh, what are the uh, differential diagnosis so whenever there is headache we have to rule out the red flags and the most frequent red flags are like subarachnoid bleed or uh, cortical thrombosis or uh, depending on individual experience the most frequently there are no other causes for uh, headache so to rule out the red flags we usually advise uh, mri to rule out other causes of headache. CT might not be helpful, but it might help us in ruling out the space occupying regions. But usually the investigation of choice is MRI, but based on history only, we make the diagnosis of PDPH. Then what is the treatment aspect? Treatment aspect is uh, after followed by diagnosis. First is prevention. How can we prevent PDPH? Prevention of PDPH can be done by uh, following certain steps during the dura puncture that is using a smaller gauge needle like 25, 27 gauge, 24 gauge, 23 gauge, uh, 23 gauge is a big needle. 
so smaller gauge needle and using the needle with tip which are dura separating like uh, vitakar so we and uh, vitakar needles so quinke needles which we routinely used have higher incidence of headache so once the patient has developed uh, postural puncture headache what to do we should uh, uh, inform the uh, concerned person or in case of uh, anesthetist about the symptoms he may help you in guiding the treatment so patient should be hydrated orally or by intravenous fluid then she should be given uh, analgesics like paracetamol followed by tramadol or uh, follow the who step letter pattern and despite following all these measures hydration and uh, nsaids and caffeine so if despite all these measures if there is no reduction in the intensity of pain can go for interventional procedure like uh, there is the main problem is leak of csf from the uh, rent created in the durometer so we have to seal the rent how can it be sealed it can be sealed by using epidural blood patch in this epidural blood patch procedure we take 15 to 20 ml blood from the anticoagulant vein and uh, by identifying the epidural space we inject the 15 to 20 ml slowly asking the patient regarding the uh, symptoms of raised intracranial pressure so this is the gold standard treatment for headache few centers they practice uh, spinopalatine block and uh, there are many things have been tried like uh, abdominal binder and uh, prone position in, and uh, nasal sprays and uh, many other drugs so we have to use what is available for our local resources and treat the patient and usually this headache resolves after 6 days on its own thank you